Hey everyone, I just wanted to uh, create this short video to get you started on the assignment this week. The first part of what you need to do is create a study region. And in the study region, it says create a study area feature class called all, excuse me, <laughs> I can't pronounce it, Amono Neighborhoods, consisting of Glen Hazel, Greenfield, Hazelwood, and Squirrel Hill South Neighborhoods, retain neighborhood boundaries of the four neighborhoods, symbolize the corresponding map layer with hollow fill, label with neighborhood name, and a halo. And keep in mind when we're getting started, this is what we're doing. You're opening up the assignment 10 folder. And when you do, you're opening up assignment 10-1. And you can just double click on that. That'll go straight into ArcGIS Pro and open it up for you. When you open it, you'll notice that there's nothing that appears to be there, but there is actually stuff in there in the geo database. And we'll open that up in just a second. So there'll be a geo database and it'll include the following layers. And so what I'm going to do is come here and the project is going to open. Again, it looks blank. I'm going to take a look at the catalog pane. Here it is. Let me get rid of this. Um, I open up Geo Databases and here's Assignment 10.1 Database. Let me get rid of this. I was experimenting before, but we don't need this. So let me delete it and I will permanently delete that. All right, so now the remaining layers, which you're gonna see as well, is Amono Area Blocks, Amono Site, Hazel Ned, and Neighborhoods. I'm just gonna click on all these, and we'll just right click and add to current map. So now we're just gonna add all the layers to the current map. It'll take a minute. There's a decent amount of information in there. Okay, once we've got that done, I'm going to close my catalog pane. I'll get rid of the non-essential stuff. We'll remove the DEM at the moment. Uh, we'll remove all mono sites. We'll remove the neighborhood blocks. And what we're left with are the neighborhoods of the map that we're looking at. And remember what we wanted to do when we are doing the very first part. We're creating that study region. So when you create the hill shade map, the contour map and the density surface map, you're doing it for the study area. You're not doing it for the whole thing. Okay, so this says create a study area feature class called Amono Neighborhoods. There's a few ways to do this, but to be honest with you, the simplest way is just a select process. So if we open up the neighborhoods attribute table, you're gonna notice that, here it is, here's our hoods. And so we've got Summer Hill, Northview Heights, etc. So Hazel, Greenfield, Greenfield, Hazelwood, it's all in here in this attribute table. So what we want to do is just select the four um, neighborhoods and we're going to create a new layer from that. And then that's what we're going to work with. So we've got neighborhoods highlighted so it's active. Now what we're going to do is click on map and then we'll go to select by attributes. And our input roads are neighborhood. We've got a new selection and we're going to click new expression. So where hood is equal to, and the first one we're looking at is Glen Hazel. So we want to select Glen Hazel from our list. And here it is. Now we're going to add another clause. We don't want and, we want or. We're not going to find a layer of information that is Glen Hazel and Greenfield and Hazelwood. So we want to select if Hood is Glen Hazel or we want to select if Hood is Greenfield. So let's look up Greenfield here. I'm going to add another expression or if Hood is equal to what's our next one? Hazelwood. So let's come down here to Hazelwood. I'm going to add that and we're going to add another clause or hood is equal to, and what's our last one? Squirrel Hill South. So let's find Squirrel Hill South and add that to our map as well. So here is Squirrel Hill South. That's all we need. Those are the four neighborhoods that we want to add to our map. So we'll click apply and then we'll click OK. You'll notice Let's get rid of that. You'll notice that we've got our highlighted area because this is what we just selected. Um, and as a matter of fact, what we want to do now is create our new layer from the selection. 
So we right click neighborhoods, come down to selection, and we are just going to make layer from selected features. And remember, this is what's going to be called the all mono neighborhoods. All right, I think that's it. Yep. So we've got Almono neighborhoods now. So let's turn off neighborhoods. And so there it is. There's our Almono neighborhoods. We're, we're done. We've got this new layer and this is what we can work with. So what I'm going to do now is click on the symbology because we want to make that um, a hollow fill. So that's what we just did. Now what we also want to do is label this thing. So we're going to right click on this, go label. You'll notice that we don't have the appropriate labels here. So we're going to click on this again, go to labeling properties because we want to label it with the neighborhood name. So let's get rid of the expression of area. So it looks like that's an area, surface area. And we want to change that to hood. Where you go? There we go. Double click on that, click apply. And so now we've got the names of our neighborhood. The other thing we wanted to do was create a hollow fill. We did that label with neighborhood name and a halo. So <laughs> we're going to do a halo here. So let's click symbol, go to halo, and we'll do halo. I don't like white for a halo, especially if we've got a hollow background so let's just give this like a little yellowy tinge to it and we'll click apply and there it is so the next thing it said was to make sure that the study regions extend is full extent let's just simply zoom in so we're going to right click zoom to layer and there it is so now we've got our study area squirrel hill south greenfield hazelwood glen hazel if i right click on albano neighborhoods you can see I've got all the information here that we need. All of it's full, so we're not missing any data or any information. And now we can just run with it. Now you can create a baseline map if you want. Um, you could use this neighborhoods map. You could put that here if you wanted some type of backdrop. I like putting different base maps in here. So let's go, oops, I'm here already. Let's go grab a base map. So let's click on that. And uh, let's just go for a simple topographic map. So we could do this. Now, if this looks a little cumbersome, that's okay because you're going to be making a hill shade, the contours, everything. So you don't need the base map, but in this regard, I think it looks pretty good. So I'd probably go with the base map. I might even experiment with this further. Maybe a gray canvas. Yeah, I like gray canvas. I would probably just go with this. Anyway, so that's it. That's how you create the initial study region. Um, then you create your hill shade, elevation contours, population density. Then you're going to create a kernel density map, uh, which is all actually pretty cool. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. But that is probably the simplest way of making a new feature class layer out of a previous feature class layer. Just simple selection and new layer. All right, take care. Bye-bye.